the people that say gentle parenting doesn't work just don't know what to do. But I'm here to help. Yo, that wasn't nice. A child's brain develops bottom up. The physical reactions tend to come from our survival state. Our verbal reactions tend to come from our emotional state. Our emotional state skills are things like blaming, judging, name calling, and just approaching the world from a me versus you mentality. What triggers us to go into an emotional state is the world not going our way. So when mom says, that wasn't nice, she's using an emotional state skill that moves us away from actual problem solving. Theo, can you help her pick those up, please? Oh, this is something we can celebrate. Mom is encouraging repair. Okay, stop knocking them down, please. And kicking them. Okay, Bubba, you need to stop, okay? This is one of the most common mistakes that beginners in gentle parenting make. We focus too much on telling the child what not to do and not enough focus on telling the child on what to do. This is because we grew up being told what not to do and that pattern is still stuck in our mind. That's why people mistake gentle parenting for not yelling or not spanking, when in reality, it's a collection of connection and collaborative based practices. This video is a common example of people saying gentle parenting doesn't work or gentle parenting for gentle kids, but they never actually learned what to do to gentle parent. Now imagine if I went through this whole video just telling you what not to do and not offering any help on what to do instead. How helpful would that be? Reflect on that as we continue. Theo? Theo, the baby's not that dizzy. The rest of the conflict that happens in this video probably could have been avoided if she would have encouraged the toddler to spin in a different area. It could have sounded something like, spin over here by the basketball hoop. Oh look, you're doing it. You're going round and round and round. Whatever you focus on, they will focus on too. If you say, don't knock down the toys, the toddler's gonna to focus on knocking down the toys. And now you have to rely on this toddler's impulse control that's not fully developed till 25, 26 to not knock down the toys. Stop. Abby, he can play with the baby because you're playing with the castles. We can celebrate this too. Mom helped the preschooler realize what was in her control. Score. Because the mom focused on letting the toddler play with the baby, the preschooler focused on letting the toddler play with the baby. And you can tell that this preschooler is desperately trying to find a way to coexist with her little brother in a way where they both get their needs met. If mom had the skills to solve conflict in a way where everyone's needs are met, she would be able to teach this skill to her child. But mom doesn't have this skill because she wasn't taught as a child by her adults. So no shame. This is an opportunity to learn. So now the toddler is standing on the bowl that the preschool is playing with. And that's not the way she wants the world to go. So of course she gets triggered into an emotional state. She's using her emotional state skill of name calling, calling the toddler a turd. Now in this moment, mom could teach a skill right now. She'd have to have the skill to recognize this moment and teach it, but she can teach it and it could sound something like, you wanted him to take his foot off your bowl. Say, take your foot off my bowl. And in that moment, you're teaching the child to set a boundary with their words and not their hands. Now, if the toddler doesn't follow the preschooler's directions because toddlers have a hard time following directions sometimes, we can help reinforce the boundary by putting the focus on the boundary that the child, the preschooler already set. And it might sound something like, Macy wants you to put your foot on the ground like this. Now, this is a child that I suspect is going to need a little bit more help following directions. I might get into close proximity with this child and put my hand on their back to connect with them as I hold firm the boundary that the preschooler set. Yeah, don't be Abby, don't hit him, please. That's not nice. Theo, please don't stand on her bucket. Don't pinch him. 
And because the emotional state skills aren't helping very much, she resorts to her survival state skills of hitting to make the world go her way. And mom actually seems to be in a pretty regulated state. She seems to be in an executive state and has access to all of her tools, but she doesn't seem to have any skills. It's like having a whole tool belt around your waist, but no tools to go inside them. It's not gonna be very helpful. This video is full of tools that you can put in your tool belt or sharpen the ones that are already there. So at some point I should stop this. Theo? Theo, let go. It's not yours. Let go, please. Theo, let go. Three, two, make a better choice, please. You're not being very kind. Help him recognize what his choices are. It could sound like you can play with the baby doll or the basketball hoop. You choose. You want to give him two positive choices so it feels like he has some power in the situation. And you want those choices to be two choices that he would genuinely enjoy doing at that time. Think about what need needs to be met. It seems like this child is seeking connection. So maybe one of the choices is playing with you. That's not, yeah. a, that's not a good choice. Theo. Theo, make a good choice, please. Theo, Abby, don't hit him. That's also not a good choice. Theo, get out. Theodore, get out of the bucket! Triggering a child into a fight or flight survival state is not the flex that you think it is. That's why gentle parenting doesn't work, kids. So because mom does not have the skills to solve the problem with her executive skills, she gets triggered to an emotional state and uses her emotional state skills just like her children. We often talk about how children need to change their behavior, but us adults are often unwilling to change our own behavior, and that's the behavior that's going to make the biggest impact and the biggest positive change in your household, in your classroom, in your community. Now, I'm going to show you the original video in its entirety so that you can break it down for yourself because there's a lot more that I could say, but that was a lesson for today, and I hope it helped. Theo, that wasn't nice. Theo, can you help her pick those up, please? Okay, stop knocking them down, please. And kicking them. Okay, Bubba, you need to stop, okay? Theo? Theo, the baby's not that dizzy. I said, Mom. Stop. Abby, he can play with the baby because you're playing with the castles. There's an under baby. Score. Abby, don't hit him, please. That's not nice. Theo, please don't stand on her bucket. Don't pinch him. At least at some point I should stop this. Theo? Theo, let go. It's not yours. Let go, please. Theo, let go. Three, two, Make a better choice, please. You're not being very kind. That's not Theo. a that's not a good choice. Theo. Theo, make a good choice, please. Abby. Theo, Abby, don't hit him. That's also not a good choice. Theo, get out. Theodore, Theodore get out of the bucket. That's why gentle parenting doesn't work, kids.